Are we back? Let me know when you guys see it back up. Because I don't trust OBS. Alright. Let me go back to what he said. I had a dream last night about my lost daughter, Tanya. I awoke suddenly and had difficulty getting back to sleep. Other than that, I am well. Two years ago, Tanya was stolen from her bedroom one night. There was no sign of what happened to her. There were rumors that the gypsies had stolen Tanya away, but when I went to their camp, I found no sign of her. Then, the gravedigger mentioned that several times he saw a huge monster near her window at night. That is all I know of the matter. We both miss our daughter very deeply. God. Let's see. Okay, uh... It's time to wait until night time again. Let's see what time it is. It's almost night time. So first off, we can watch the gnome's last performance. After some and then after that, we need to wait until midnight. After some. Oh, hello there. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, duh. You hear me? After. your front. Take a seat. No, take two. They're small. I got a joke just for you, so don't look so sheepish. Now the table's helping you. You straight. That did. You better not do that. Your hand might get stepped on by an elephant. What? It's good to have my wit about me again. Nothing worse than someone who can't take a joke or one that tries to tell one and can't. Before you help me, when I told a joke, people always clapped their hands. Unfortunately, it was always over their ears. Now, whenever I tell a joke, I get carried away. So I'm leaving before they ride me out of town on a nail. <laughs> a short joke there. Uh, why did the narrator read that and not the gnome? <laughs> yeah, Sha he saw him standing there. I was like, not today. <laughs> did you hear the one about the dwarf who is so dumb, he always stops to think and then forgets to start again? Everything that's said to him goes in one ear and out the other. There's nothing there to block traffic. I can tell dwarf jokes all day, mainly because there are none around to stop me. Okay. In another minute, I'm gonna say my bye-bye and fly. I'm going south for the winter, down where the nights are balmy, and so am I. Heading for Silmaria, land of winter waterland. Where there's no snow nor cold wind to blow. Up here, the winter is so cold, even the wind howls about it. It's good to have before now. Well, how do I hear his joke? Hey, I've been looking high and low for you, and I obviously wasn't looking low enough. You trying to upstage me or something? 
Show business is tough enough without competition. So sit down, relax, and catch. They outnumber you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all you others. I'd like to say how glad I am to be here. I'd like to say it. Seriously, folks, staying at the Hotel Mordavia has been like staying at a resort. A last resort. My room is so small, the mice are hunchback. I couldn't even complain about the room service. There wasn't any to complain about. And the innkeeper's wife really went out of her way to make me feel at home. She ignored me completely. I wasn't feeling well, so I went out to visit the local doctor. You know, Dr. Cranium. He's the guy with the three pairs of glasses, one for nearsightedness, one for farsightedness, and one to look for the other two. I said to the doctor, my heart keeps making a strange noise. It keeps going tick, tick, tick. Aha, said Dr. Cranium. We have ways of making you talk. <laughs> Next, I went to visit the local store. If you don't know what's up, then you haven't seen their prices lately. And the shopkeeper, what a gossip. She suffers from acute indiscretion. I dislike repeating gossip, but uh, what else can you do with it? <laughs> And boy, oh boy, the monster's in this place. If I ever come face to face with a revenant, I know what steps I'd take. Long ones. What would I do if ever I saw a necrotor? Hope it didn't see me. Actually, folks, I'm up here for a good reason. A jester's ambition is to be healthy, wealthy, and wisecracking. If it weren't for my friend the hero over there, I couldn't make a hyena laugh. So, when you've lost your wit, broken your funny bone, and none of your puns are fun, it helps to have a hero handy. You know, that reminds me very little of the story about the grave digger who was so bored, he buried himself in his work. <laughs> you know, I could tell you some more jokes, but you'd only laugh at them. So long and be good. If you can't be good, then be careful. The gnome takes a deep bow and gets down off the stage. It's funny, you always thought he got down off a duck. Ha! The townspeople explode into spontaneous applause. Keep smiling, it makes people wonder what you've been up to. So, was that funny, or are you just keeping your mouth shut? <laughs> your voice is lost in the noise of the crowd, and the gnome doesn't seem to have heard you. Yes, I've heard that one before. <laughs> you unlock the door. Well, it's so long, it's been nice to know you. I like you. I have no taste, but I like you. If you ever make it to Silmaria, look me up. I never forget a friend, especially if he owes me money. <laughs> but seeing as how it's me that owes you one, I'd better get while the going's good. See ya. Don't take any wooden kopecks. So, everyone, I'll leave you with this story. A man runs up to his doctor and says, Doc, you gotta help me. I keep thinking I'm a goat. The doctor asked, How long have you had this delusion? The guy replied, Ever since I was a kid. Ba -da -boom. <laughs> that just goats to show you I'm one bad dude. It's been sheer pleasure here, but I'm gonna take it on the lamb and just bleed it. Be seeing you. <laughs> well, that was amusing. All right, let's see what time it is. Day, okay. Well, we need to be back at midnight. <laughs> Undertaker comedy hour? No, I'm not very good with the jokes, especially Undertaker ones. <laughs> let's see. Um, okay, we've got to wait until midnight, talk to this guy, and then wait for midnight again. After some rest. <laughs> I like how he gets down backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he scared he's going to fall? Like, if he's going to fall, he wants to fall onto the bed <laughs> and not on his butt? I don't... Okay. <laughs> After some rest, you feel better.
after some rest. It's day? It's obviously not day, but all right. Unfortunately, it's actually. After some rest. After some rest. out there. Whoa, what are you guys still doing up? What the hell is wrong with you? The You're getting I'm getting sleepy? I just slept in the bed. After some rest. Still not there. You straighten out. You unlock the door to you. sneaky sleeping. It's not the same. Ba -ba -da. After some still says it's day. This is strange. Okay. You unlock. After some you unlock the after some <laughs> well it's way past midnight now. Well, it's opening and closing every 60 minutes. I'm sleeping every 60 minutes. Um... Why isn't this working? Uh... Do I have to actually walk down here? You unlock the... After some uh, okay, let's reload. I think I have to actually walk down. Yes, I'm using the same guide. I have not been able to find another. At least one that was more reliable than this one. Time is it? After some. After some rest. That did. You straighten up. You st Stop touching yourself. After. After some oh, they're still there. You unlock There's supposed to be some kind of spirit or something on top of the fireplace. After some rest you feel better. You're getting tired. You unlock the door.
<laughs> first person account for this one. Uh, let's see. No, it's not written in first person. After some rest. Alright, they're gone. Let's come down here. You're in the Hotel Mordavia. Why isn't this working? You unlock the door. After some time to go home. All right. I'll look into this some more. Hopefully, I'll figure this out because we kind of have to do this. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's midnight. It's not day! Anyways. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play. Eh, it's been pretty fun. I was actually hoping to finish it. I was hoping to finish it tonight, but I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow. It doesn't look like there's that much left. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, anyways, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow on Sunday. Yes. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we'll be back with more Quest for Glory. Alright, with our special little hero. So hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, and bye-bye.